Hey guys, this is Art Arat, I'm bringing you a story of sperm theft, because God knows everyone wants sperm stories. A man suing his ex-wife uh, because she forced his signature in order to become inseminated with his sperm after their relationship began to sour. Uh, see, they had been receiving infertility treatment uh, back when the marriage was rosy, uh, but things began to go downhill before any pregnancy came of it. The incident in question occurred a few weeks before they officially broke up. When, as I mentioned, uh, she faked his signature so the clinic would perform the procedure. Now, a daughter was the fruit of that labor, and the woman then filed a lawsuit insisting that her now ex-husband allow the child to take his name. Now, despite his countersuing, uh, the man is allowing the daughter to take his last name and acknowledged her as his own. But he's still pretty pissed about what his wife did uh, to make this birth come about and claiming that she was motivated uh, more by attaining citizenship um, in his country uh, than by any particular craving for a child. Okay, so this actually raises more issues um, than it does of mild comedy, more specifically legal ones uh, when it comes to the responsibility of the unwilling father. Uh, see, there have been past instances of women impregnating themselves uh, with their boyfriend or ex's semen, uh, without him knowing. On one occasion, the woman took it from a used condom after sex. In a few of these instances, uh, the proud new mothers will then turn around and sue the fathers for child support, a support for children that said fathers uh, might not have known about until the lawsuit hit them. And in these instances, the women generally win the lawsuit. Now, on the surface, it's pretty obvious why, because DNA tests are certainly going to prove that the child does belong to the father, and the law is pretty clear um, that some responsibilities result from that. Now, I'm probably going to uh, get a lot of hostility in my direction for suggesting this, but look, it's one thing to expect child support from a father who was careless about protection during sex, uh, who at the very least was involved in the process that resulted in the child's birth. It's another thing entirely uh, to basically steal sperm, have a baby with stolen sperm, and then expect financial support for a baby that was essentially birthed through fraud. Now, the thing is, uh, this matter is complicated, uh, particularly since I would imagine that more than a few of these women uh, who demand child support do it because they actually need the financial support, i.e. cannot financially support this baby by themselves. And I agree that the child shouldn't be punished for the acts of the mother. But if these women couldn't support a child by themselves, then what gives them the right to decide that they'll have the baby in the first place? Yes, it's their body, as I've heard more than once, but when they decide to force their ex's finances into the mix, things get a little murkier. Because it's not just about the mother's rights, it's about the father's. And sorry, it just seems the words father's rights aren't tossed about too regularly, uh, be it in society or in legal proceedings. Besides, to once more state the obvious, this isn't just a matter of a woman deciding not to have an abortion. Uh, this is deliberately seeking out pregnancy, uh, sometimes regardless of whether or not they're prepared to deal with the baby. Now, if they can't support the child by themselves or don't have a support network to rely on, uh, they should not have a child by themselves, particularly if their plan involved insisting the unwilling, unknowing father uh, foot the bill in the first place. Now, the kicker is, I don't have a clear-cut solution uh, for this problem. Obviously, I wouldn't advocate denying child support outright, since, as I said, uh, some of these mothers might otherwise be incapable of providing for the child that they so craved. At the very least, though, uh, fertility clinics and institutions of that nature should really beef up their security just a little bit. I mean, forging the signature of someone with whom you've probably lived with for years probably isn't that difficult. And it's clear the consequences can be, well, life-changing. So, kids, this is Art Arat uh, reminding you that every sperm is sacred, every sperm is great, and Monty Python rocks. Later.